As we move along here in 2020, we've seen cases uh, rising yet again on the pandemic front. When we look at that nationally, it's been a worrying trend over the last couple of days and weeks, really. Just yesterday, we saw the national case count rise above uh, 43,000 uh, versus uh, seven days ago. That was up by about more than 5,000 cases, it was the largest rise we've seen on a week over week basis since mid July. And overall, that's the story. But when you look at a state level, uh, states still moving very differently to reopen the economy. The latest uh, news out of Florida was, of course, the governor there, Ron DeSantis, uh, choosing to uh, take back those restrictions that were put in place, leaving uh, local officials scrambling to try and clarify what they could do uh, at a local level to kind of prevent an uptick in cases. And here to discuss that with us is the mayor of Fort Lauderdale, Dean Trantalis, joins us now. And Mayor Trantalis, talk to me about how that battle has been going on here because you yourself had to issue uh, an emergency order to kind of clarify what bars and restaurants and the workers there should be doing. Uh, so what have you seen play out since that order was put in place? Uh, well, first of all, thank you, Zach, for inviting me on the program today. Uh, it's been uh, a touch and go, you know, let's face it. Pandemics are not the uh, run-of-the-mill type of thing that uh, government officials encounter in their responsibility. So everyone is really trying to figure out ways, best practices, and see how we can work together. Uh, what we're finding in Florida is that the uh, infection rate ha is continuing to trend downward. In my county in particular, Broward County, uh, it's about half of what the state level is. So it seemed appropriate to uh, start to open up more businesses. The point is that we realized when we shut down this summer that uh, we thought it was, the disease would go away and when, when we open back up, you know, it wouldn't be here anymore. But clearly it's here. We've got to learn to coexist with it. And uh, so right now we're looking for ways to do that. And part of that endeavor is to see how we get people back on their feet, back to work, and still do it in a safe way. So the governor on Friday issued a phase three uh, opening uh, uh, emergency order in which he said, okay, we can now move in, into uh, a phase where more restaurants can open up, bars can now open up, um, uh, and, and, and local officials were supposed to promulgate guidelines to help facilitate the, the process and give some guidance to the, uh, to the uh, community. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that quickly. Um, uh, we waited over the weekend, and Monday, Tuesday came around, so I thought it was important that my city, uh, being a hospitality city, uh, be able to pr provide some answers to the uh, business community, which we did. We issued those orders yesterday morning, and it gave guidelines to the bar and restaurant community how they can operate safely and at the same time be able to, uh, to function so that they can still make money. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the questions here, too, because obviously uh, we're, we're dealing with the same thing in New York. A lot of businesses saying, look, you can't keep us closed down forever. But of course, you, you want to see those improvements on the health statistics you're talking about there. But the other thing uh, being discussed here on a national level uh, also uh, obviously impacts your community as well as other communities around the country is what could come through here between Republicans and Democrats at the federal level trying to get through another stimulus bill. Uh, when we look at that, local aid still seems to be a sticking point for Republicans and Democrats. So as a mayor in navigating this, as you've seen tax revenues fall off a cliff uh, due to the pandemic, uh, what have you seen in terms of aid coming through from the state and federal level here to battle all of this and really fill in those, those gaps that you're seeing here in 2020? Well, um, through the summer, the federal government was giving uh, checks out to people who are unemployed and and you know you can't run a government losing money at a trillion dollars a month you know that's totally unsustainable we had to find ways to reopen the economy and do so in a safe way um the the, the so the federal government the spigot has now been shut off uh at the state level the state has been very cooperative in in allowing us to set up uh, testing sites has been paying for all of that and uh, continues to work with our cities in terms of trying to cope with the pandemic. Cash, uh, you know, the 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 uh, unemployment checks. The the uh, state of Florida participated with the federal government for a short time in terms of uh, uh, paying additional money for unemployment, but that pro that program is now uh, ceased. The uh, the governor also uh, established a moratorium on evictions and foreclosures again to help people, working people, try to get through this. But the reality is, um, we need to get people back to work. 
People want to earn a living. They want to be able to pay for their rent and get food on the table. And uh, and honestly, Zach, we never really took uh, much direction from the federal government uh, from day one. As you know, it's been very confusing up there. So we've attempted to work our way through this uh, by looking and listening to local medical experts, uh, working amongst my sister cities here in the in South Florida, and to just try to uh, find best practices that will be safe for the community. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.